What's good? What's good? This is your host, Swag Boy from Swagboy360.com. Today's episode Kanye West using the no contact rule on Kim Kardashian. I want to play a video for y'all. I want y'all to take a good listen to it. And I'm gonna give y'all my, my I'm gonna give y'all my response on it. Check it out. Final episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians aired on Thursday night, and it shined a light on how Kim Kardashian was feeling ahead of her split from Kanye West. In one emotional scene, Kris Jenner tells her daughter that she is worried about her and asks how she is feeling amid the couple's relationship struggles. Kim replies that she is realizing she just wants total happiness, adding that she feels like she has worked so hard in life to achieve everything she has ever wanted. She admits that Kanye being away often, especially at his Wyoming ranch has begun to take a toll on her. She further explains that she wants a husband who likes the same shows as she does and someone she can work out with every day. Kim says that she has the big extravagant things in life but doesn't have the little things in life and she is ready for them. In February, Kim filed for divorce from Kanye after filming for the series had wrapped. He has since been photographed on a whirlwind trip to France with Arena Shake. A source has told people that Kim has known about Kanye's relationship with the model for weeks. Later in the episode, Kim opens up about failing the baby bar for a second time. Say All right, so boom. You just heard tabloids quote Kim Kardashian when she said, Kanye West spending time away on his Wyoming ranch is getting to her. But why is it getting to you? Why is it getting to you when you the one that filed for divorce? You the one that wanted a divorce. You filed for divorce. You initiated the breakup. And now she's feeling sad. And now her mother is worried about her. She the one that divorced Kanye. She the one that left him alone. See, fellas, this is what girls would do to you. They will break up with you. They will divorce you and expect you to come running to them. They will expect you to chase them. They will expect you to be the one, oh, baby, please take me back. Kanye ain't doing that. Kanye West is acting like a red pill alpha man right now. Say what you want about Kanye, but this is how you're supposed to act when your wife divorce you. This is how you're supposed to act when your girl dump you. You supposed to just move on and do no contact. See, I remember a couple of years ago, I forgot the white boy name, but uh uh yo, what was that guy name? Sexy thing. I'm a real hit me if I misbehave. It makes me all oh, when you feel this way. Whatever that guy name is, that's the song he did, right? When his wife left him, when his wife divorced him, he went to media outlets. He cried for her. He went to the tabloids and said how he wanted his girl back. You know what he did, y'all? Let me tell you what this guy in particular did. When this guy in particular that I'm talking about, when his wife divorced him, not only did he act like a red pill simp, he moved on and named his next album after his wife. Can you believe that? Robin Thicke, that was his name, Robin Thicke. When Robin Thicke, wife or girlfriend, broke up with him, divorced him, he act like a blue pill beta man. He cried. He begged. He said, please take me back. See, see, he had no shame in his game for begging. He publicly, he publicly begged his girl back. So he publicly humiliated himself so his girl could come back. And then just to show her how important she was to him, he named his album 
after her name. He named his album after her. Like that was going to bring her back. That wasn't going to bring her back. Robin Thicke, did you get the girl? No, you didn't. You didn't get her. Because you act like a simp. You act like a blue pill beta male. And that's why I'm so proud of Kanye West, man. I'm so proud of Kanye West because check this out. You dealing with a sexy white girl, Kim Kardashian. I, I don't care what you hate to say about Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian is a sexy white girl. I don't care. She got body. She got the body. She got body, son. And you know what? Most guys that dealt with Kim, I don't know how they reacted when she broke up with him. Now, I don't know what happened with Reggie Bush. But I know what happened with Ray J. I know when Ray J, her and Ray J broke up, I think Ray J felt some type of way because Ray J went, 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 went out and did a song about the bitch. Talking about he hit it first. Why would you let the whole world know you hit it first? I hit it, I hit it, I hit it, I hit it. You know I hit it first. You know I hit it first. Why would you want the world to know you hit it first? So basically, you putting so much importance on the fact that you slept with this one girl. When y'all have sex with a fat girl, do y'all tell everybody you you hit it first? When you when when, when y'all go out and have sex with a basic chick, do you go out and say I hit it first? No, you don't. You don't even care that you hit it first. You don't care if you hit it last, second, third. You don't care if you hit it first or last. And that's why I'm proud of Kanye, man. Kanye West is handling this breakup like a boss. Kanye West is handling this, is handling this breakup like a true alpha male. Like a true alpha male. That's how he handling this breakup. That's how you supposed to handle a breakup when a woman wants to leave out of your life. You supposed to go that way and let her go the other way. The question is, when your girl dump you, are you going to act like Robin Thicke? Or are you going to act like Kanye West? Because here's the thing. One thing I like about Kanye West, he's conceited. Kanye West is cocky. I love that about Kanye. I love it. And you know what Kim knows too? And Kanye knows? Kanye and Kim knows you can't do... Kanye knows she can't do no better. You can't get no better than Kanye, Kim. Kim, who you gonna go to next? Kim Kardashian, who are you gonna date next that's better than Kanye West? Who are you gonna date better that's above Kanye West level? Who? Who is out there, Kim? Kanye know that? That's why he keeping it moving, yo. He said, you want to divorce me? Divorce me then. And you know, Kanye is so smart, man. Kanye, see, because I, I see a lot of you dudes, when 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 when, when, your divi when, when, your war when, when your wife divorce you or your baby mama break up with you, y'all be telling me, oh, I, I, I can't do no contact because we got kids. We got to communicate. No, you don't. Do what Kanye is doing. He's using a third party. He's using a third party to communicate to Kim to, 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 to get his kids. He basically told Kim, look, if you want to get in contact with me, call this number. Call this number to uh, facilitate pick up and drop off with my kids. Kanye West ain't got to say nothing to her. Kanye West ain't got to hear her voice no more. Kanye West don't even need to know what she looking like right now. Kanye West could just move on. And that's how you handle a divorce. That's how you handle a breakup. I'm proud of stuff like this. I'm proud of seeing brothers do this, man. Too many times I see brothers get divorced from their wife. They wife divorce them. They girlfriend dump them. And they crying like girls. They acting like blue pill beta simps. They acting like suckers, not Kanye. Kanye handling this, handling this like a boss. And that's how you should handle your breakup.
And when your breakup does happen, handle it like a boss. Handle it like Kanye, not like Robin Thicke. And that was today's episode of Like, uh, Comment, Subscribe. <laughs> and I'm going to catch you on the next go around, my nigga. Hello.